Meet Ellie. And this is Captain Awesome. This little fellow's name is Casey. They're the best players on the team from Leipzig. They play in the Humanoid Robot League. Their makers are only allowed to feed them data using software. Changing their hardware is against the rules. That would be doping. Cameras in the mouth and on the forehead, combined with special computer programs, help them find their way around the pitch. Whoops. That mustn't happen at the RoboCup World Championship. The robots are programmed to perceive their surroundings through colors. They have the image from the camera and they assess the colors in it. Red stands for the ball. Only being able to see colors has disadvantages. When there's lots of light, the robot keeps its eye on the ball, as the yellow circle on the image shows. But if the wavelength or level of light changes, the player starts to look around. It can't locate the ball anymore because its apparent color has changed. To fix the problem, the computer scientists from Leipzig have developed new algorithms. These will help the robots detect individual colors as well as the borders between them. In other words, they can recognize shapes. That will help them keep their eye on the ball regardless of the illumination. It's an ability with applications off the field too. Shape-based image processing algorithms can also be used for quality management in manufacturing. For example, in the production of solar panels. Small dents or scratches are recognized by their shape and defective solar panels are rejected. Robot soccer has plenty of tackles and fouls. Only the steadiest survive. The researchers have succeeded in finding a single algorithm that can steer all the robot's movements. That allows the humanoids to react much more quickly because they no longer have to switch between different command chains. They can move smoothly from running to dribbling to shooting without losing their balance. Important abilities for a goalkeeper too. Things went smoothly in training. So are they ready for the Robo World Cup? We're pretty excited. I think there are 24 teams taking part, and of course we're hoping to do as well as possible. The Leipzig team hopes their robot's dribbling skill will get them into the quarterfinals. Fast, agile, eye on the ball, and on the opponent's goal.